Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am painting, actually revising this how I painted last year or it was a year, two years ago. I want to make it more detailed and I thought this was amazing before but I want to make it even more amazing and while I do that I want to talk to you guys about how I really feel about my hair. So, I honestly, when I first did my hair, I wasn't really a huge fan of it. I thought, like, I, I thought it looked okay, but it was still a huge change for me. So, I was like, I didn't know how to feel about it. So, honestly, but the reason why I was like that was because of the fact that my hair was just completely natural and I... I've never really had my natural hair color by itself since I was in middle school. I always just dyed my hair, including the colors that were naturaler. They were always just me dyeing them. So it was never I me. Mean, let me see if I can just see some painting. Um, so it was never just me, you know what I mean? My natural hair color. And so I feel like that was a huge change for me, but then I got to lighten it and color it, and then I really do like it. Um, I honestly was really excited because I was like, okay, so this might be, uh, a lot of people aren't really a fan of shaved heads, so I was like, this might be, um, this might make a lot of guys stop like cat calling and stuff, and then I was outside with my brother and his girlfriend, and we were walking, and a guy yelled hey baby and I'm like oh god so I really thought that would make <laughs> my problems go away it did not but at the end of the day like what am I gonna do you know beat him up like no I'm not but yeah I'm mixing my paint on my palette right here because I want to add a little more detail to his nostrils Honestly, the way everyone reacted is, um, everyone in my house, they weren't surprised. They knew it would, I would do it one day. Uh, it was a bit of an adjustment for everybody, I feel. But I don't think they didn't like it. I think it was just, like, whoa, you know? Like, seeing me with, like, a mohawk. But, like, I started feeling like it didn't look like a mohawk. I feel like I started to have a mullet, you know? And I wasn't really a fan of that, if that makes sense. Because, you know, like, I'm not into the mullet life. But, yeah, I honestly... The moment I did it, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna look so bad. When I was done, I was like, I don't look that bad. But I wasn't a huge fan of it. But then it's like... I was trying to love it more. It's one of those things where it's just a shock. Like, that's what all it was. It was a huge shock for me that I did it. I wanted to do it. I was getting sick of how my hair looked. I've always wanted a mohawk, so now I can say I've done that. I've always wanted to shave my head, and now I can say I've done that. Um, so it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, I really didn't lose anything in this. And on top of it, I, I wanted to do these things because at the end of the day, the only person that's gonna hurt if I don't do it myself, and I'm always gonna think, what if? And at the end of the day, that's no fun. It's actually been really, really fun being able to just hop in the shower. My hair dries in a few minutes. Surprisingly, my hair does still like get very, very like soaked. And when I go like this, it'll like, like the water starts squirting everywhere. That's not fun. Because I'm like, come on, man. I thought, like, I wouldn't have this problem at all anymore. <laughs> but, I mean, that's life. Anyways, I honestly really do like how my hair looks. It is a bit of an adjustment. I feel like people act like when you shave your head that you're not feminine anymore. And that's what I was afraid about because I am, you know, a woman. And I wanted to, I like looking cute and stuff. And I feel like some of my outfits don't really look cute on me anymore. But, I mean, that kind of goes with any hair color I do. It's one of those things where, like, you have to sacrifice wearing certain things or else you're going to clash. Where tons of people will say, that's not true, but they just don't care. 
for me. Unfortunately, I've always had a really bad problem with caring a little too much about what people had to say. And um, I'm going to show you what he looks like right now. He looks like this. I'm actually going to be going over and adding a, um, I'm adding a black outline over this white outline so it's more dimensional because I don't want to be depressing and have my thing look one dimensional. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying. But yeah, my problem was is that I was getting sick of my hair and I kept seeing girls doing it um, that I liked, that I follow on my art page and stuff. And there was a couple people that really inspired me to do it. And then I said, fuck it. And I did it. Um, it was very impulsive. What I recommend everybody to do is no, because some people would do it and then they would start crying. But honestly, I want to focus more on myself. And I have always, like, I felt like recently I've been having a lot of problems, like, physically. Like, not with, like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain. I've been, I was having a lot of physical problems. And that was, you know, hormo hormonal stuff. And then I was having a lot of um, problems, like, with my skin and... I felt like, I don't know, I just felt like my hair was getting so oily, it was getting my face oily, which is making me break out. Which right now I actually am, this isn't as bad as it looks, but I have broken out just a little bit. But I have been exercising and working really hard, so that could be another reason why. Um, but yeah, I, I am very, like, proud of my artwork. I've just always, like... Recently, I've had a lot of hate on it, and I just don't understand why. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm proud of what I do, and I'm proud of what my... I'm going to have a business doing this forever, you know? Like, I don't know where my life's going to take me, but I really want to sell my artwork, and I've always been passionate about my artwork. I've just always been surrounded by people, including, like, teachers and stuff, who they didn't believe in me. And it is really hard when you want to do something, and you have, like, the world telling you you're not good enough. Um, and before people want to be haters and comment, well, you're not, you know, you know what, if I'm not good enough, you're not good enough, so shut up. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. But I'm just saying, like, I've always, I've, I had a couple art teachers, and I had this one art teacher, and she was always really, really cool, and she always told me, like, hey, you know, um, she put, like, all of my stuff in the art show because she loved my artwork, and she said it reminded her, t uh, it reminded her of Tim Burton. And I honestly was like, really? Because, you know, he, his work's amazing. And um, a bunch of my stuff got put in the art show. And I really was like, I loved it. I was a very, at the time, a very horror. So I would draw a lot of, like, dark stuff and paint a lot of darker themed things. Um, and she loved it. So all my stuff was put in the art show. But then this other art teacher, she never put anything in the art show of mine. That's all I wanted. She would always tell me, like, ignore me pretty much because she hated my other family members that she had so I kind of got a really bad position you know I got in a very uncomfortable position where she would just sit there and she would look at me like I'm my sibling and it was annoying you know like I'm like come on man just because we're related doesn't mean I'm gonna be I don't know because the thing is I have siblings who are very vocal when they're upset and like I'm a little bitch so like when I'm upset I just keep it to myself I'm not gonna sit there and like tell the teacher that she's being you know too much or she's being disrespectful to me you know I just sit there and take it so there's a couple times she wasn't very very nice to me and I just tried to ignore it and I was like you know that's just how she's my teacher like but I'll, all I'm saying is you know she just never really liked me and it, and it, it honestly just sucks because she was the teacher a lot of people look to when they wanted, you know, when they wanted to uh, do anything, like, important, and so she didn't like me, so I, I missed out on all these opportunities where I could have been practicing art, or she had, like, special students, that's, that's what I hate, is, like, a lot of people do it, and if you say, you know, that's not true, it is true, teachers will have favorites, and those favorites will get everything, and then the students that she doesn't, that kind of fall through the cracks, don't get anything. It makes me, like, sad because honestly um I've always been the person a lot of times where I would always get the crappy end of the stick and I just wouldn't say anything about it so this was in school all the time I was always in situations where I just had to get over stuff or 
a teacher just had problems and did, didn't care. But then, like, I had a couple teachers who really did care and that, like, you know, opens your eyes. And then I met a, a couple of teachers who, like, cared about my future and, you know, representatives and stuff. And this is what he looks like right now. <laughs> I know his beard's a little much. I'm trying to work on that. Um, yeah. All I'm saying is... And personally, I've just always had a problem with getting told that, you know, from people that are supposed to be respecting you, getting told, like, you're not good enough, but, like, kindly, you know, so I couldn't, it just, it sucks, you know? Nobody wants to get told that their artwork isn't good, and nobody wants to get forgotten about and have, you know, like, I, I would have loved to have some of the opportunity she gave to other students, and I'm not blaming her for anything, I'm just saying it just sucks because, you know, like, I, I would have love to look up to someone and, and I, I did really like um, one of my art teachers but the problem is that you know a lot of the students didn't like her so they always caused problems and they like ruined the class you know what I mean um, I, I, I wanted to go to art school but like it's just a lot of people say it's a waste of time because you can learn everything like on the internet so I'm just trying to do my best right now and I I want to embrace you know, I want to embrace the skill I do have and I want to practice and I have gotten a lot better than I was before and I want to do this for me and I really want to make sales so I'm really trying to work hard on improving for the better of everybody. Um, I got a lot of hate on this turtle video. Literally what I did was is I took this shape and I made um, just a random picture. It's like, you know, here's a, here's a shape, make a picture. So I made a picture and a lot of times like I'll have stuff that's like, it'll look cute like I drew a fish and I, and, you know, my sister was like, that could look like, that, that looks like it could be in like a children's novel and I said, really? So then I was like, you know, I always kind of wanted to make a kid's book. So I, that's all I posted in the video and then like a bunch of people were like, that's terrifying, it looks scary, your picture's not good. And it just brought me down. Like, I was really upset. I was like, damn, you know, I'm being attacked. And, you know, I understand, like, social media isn't perfect and stuff like that. But still. And honestly, I would like to start painting more, um, more kid-friendly stuff anyways. Because I was in this very bad place at the time. And I was painting very dark stuff. And, like, everyone could notice there was something wrong. Um, and it was, like, a mental thing. And I'm sharing this because, you know, you never know if someone else is in that position where, like, they could be watching this and say, wow, I'm not alone. So that's why I share this stuff, not to just expose myself. But I'm just saying, people go through really tough things and they don't know how to cope with it. And art is a really amazing way. Like, there's people who aren't, I wouldn't say the best artist, but just painting and expressing themselves is enough for them. So I would say, like, if you're going through something, just pick up a paintbrush, pick up some paper, and draw. I feel like painting is a little more um, soothing for me, in my opinion, because uh, it has uh, a lot to do with... You have to tap, you have to, like, breathe when you're doing it, unless you're not breathing, which isn't safe, but, you know, it's, it's a lot. I'm just saying, personally, I just wish we were given more opportunities because like I would love and I am I'm doing my best to pursue a career in you know art and it is hard when you want to do something and the world's just telling you you're a failure you know I'm gonna be ending this in a minute because people want to come talk to me but I'm gonna show you the result I'm not I'm not completely done but yeah give me one second it makes me sad thinking that, like, animals are, like, held in a farm and forcefully, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, all I'm saying, though, is that follow your dreams. Like, I haven't gotten my first art sale yet, and it is kind of depressing sometimes, but all I'm saying is it's going to get better. It has to get better, you know? Like, I'm trying to be positive about it. I've been exercising, trying to turn my life around. Um, I've had moments where I was exercising and I was made fun of and I decided to stop. 
but I'm just, I'm, all I'm saying is that, you know, everyone's gonna hate on you, and unfortunately that's the way of life, and I have to deal with it, but don't let that stop you from doing what you want to do. I want to sell my artwork, I want to sell custom designs on clothing, and like stickers, and all that happy jazz, and I'm, I can't do it if I let people hold me back, so I'm not. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna leap forward and keep going with it because I deserve to be successful and I'm thinking about making an Etsy shop so if you guys would want to me to make that specific shop let me know um the only thing I'm worried about is I have never shipped anything so like I can see where my brother said he would help me figure it out which is awesome having people who do support you sometimes they get wrapped up and negative and I'm like nobody supports me but I do have some people who do so like I was saying though, I'm going to show you what he looks like. I'm going to keep going even when I'm off camera because I do want to get him ready so if anyone wants to purchase him, they have that chance. I don't want, you know, there to be any anything. I want to fix all the paintings I have because I do have a lot of paintings and I want to sell them. And then I would be happy. I want to sell them. And um, the thing is that I do spend a lot of time and a lot of effort. So my paintings are going to start out $50 um, as like a bid. And they're going to get more expensive the more people bid on it. Uh, people think it might be ridiculous to charge $50. But I work hard on them. I'm not going to... And if I'm shipping it, you know, you gotta give me some, some understanding here, you know, it's, it's difficult and I understand some people might not want to pay to get this shipped because they don't think it's worth it, you don't have to buy it, you know, someone will buy it, I know they will, it's just, unfortunately, a lot of people have, like, been wanting to buy my stuff, but they want me to give it to them for free. So it's not really them buying it, but it's still messed up because I do work hard on it. I do put a lot of effort into my art, and I'm not just going to give it away for free. I've done that before where people would make me feel bad, and I would give them free artwork, and they wouldn't even recognize me for it. Or I, um, a couple times I did post, and I drew these um, TikTok creators, and they were like, I'm going to do you because you deserve to get more clout. And I didn't draw them for the clout. I drew them because I really loved what they stood for and then both of the the girls who I drew they said they were going to let me they didn't and I was like well why even say it because like I wasn't expecting it but when someone says something you know so like when the second girl said it I was like you're not going to do it me and then she did it so I didn't tell her that though I was just like she's not going to do it you know it's like when you know I'm like she, she's gonna, she's not going to do it and then she didn't do it, so it was just whatever. You know what I mean? Just, you can't control people, even though you would love to. But yeah, guys, um, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys like this video, comment, like, subscribe. I'm going to quickly do this list, and then I'm going to add more details off camera. And if you guys follow my TikTok, I am definitely going to update it with my cow video. Because I love this painting. I did work hard on it. It's worth all the money. You know, so if you want to purchase it, I'm still working on it. But here's what it looks like. <laughs> and it was hung up with a nail, which is why there is a nail in the cow's head, which I'm going to try to cover up. So, you know, unless, you know, you're vegan and you want me to embrace the very cool side of life but anyways guys thanks for watching this follow my tiktoks kayla gonche art 67 and kayla gonche 67 art and my instagram is kayla gonche 67 and kayla gonche 67 art and if you would like to purchase anything let me know i hope you guys have a great night stay safe stay healthy and i love you guys